develop your vocal ability. I, I feel that it really developed from the first um, recordings to the last ones. Yeah. Um, did you take any lessons? Did you just work on it on your own? Like, a lot yes. Of blues on it. I got better as a singer. When I was at Berkeley, I was a terrible, I couldn't hit notes, I didn't have any pitch, I didn't have any timing. So another thing I want to tell you is that you can get better. I, don't, I know there's probably a lot of people here who hate the idea that they're not great yet. But are you okay with the idea that you're not great yet? We live in a really immediate sort of a world where everyone wants to be told they're great right out of the box. But the idea that you're not great yet is what's going to keep you working and pushing and pursuing and adding up. I was not a good singer. I'm, I'm now I consider myself a singer. I don't even know how I consider myself on good or bad, but I consider myself being able to do it. I put out Room for Squares, and I listen to it now, and it's sort of talking, I'm sort of talking, and I want to run through the halls of my high school. And it's that sort of thing. And then I listen to heavier things, and it has a little bit more of finding its thing. It's a little more around it. But then I wrote Waiting on the World to Change, and I went, you know what, I'm tired of this. Tired of not being able to hit notes, and I don't know how I'm going to be able to go on stage and sing that every night. Because you get lucky in the studio. You get the approximation of a vocal warm up if you're singing all night. You're a good voice, and you go and you sing, and you go, Me and all my friends! And I go, I got to do this on stage every night. So I went to vocal instruction. When I went to vocal instruction, I was already, like, you know, fat and happy, and everything was cool, and people liked how I sang. And the one thing that I want to just kick out to the curb right now is, what if I learn something and it replaces this magical, God-given gift that I have? <laughs> it's like saying, what if you give me your phone number and I forget my phone? <laughs> it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It is an excuse. It is the number one excuse. To not get, not saying you don't like it is a real quick way to not have to address that you don't really want to. I don't like jazz, don't do jazz anyway. Because if you said you like jazz, then you'd have an affinity for it, and if you had an affinity for it, you'd have a desire to want to experience some part of it, but then you'd be at the beginning. You wouldn't know anything about it, but you were just learning. I love it. I love it. So I go into a vocal instructor and I go, Good, 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 good. I learned how to keep my larynx really low. And where my highest note was E, that was my highest note. I could sing it. I was always like this. I can now sing as high as I want. I can sing as high as I want. Because I learned the technique. And you can learn the technique and work it into what you already have. I promise you it's not going to go. I've never in my life seen anybody go, yesterday I was able to play guitar and then I learned the chord and I didn't <laughs> You have all the time in the world. You should look at it, want to conquer it, and do it. But I think we live in a society now where it's so instant ego. You want to go work for, you want to go to your first lesson and have your instructor go, come here. I've never seen anybody like you. <laughs> you know what's great when you go like this? I'm just starting. I don't know much, but I'm just starting. In the last five years, I've seen so many things I wanted to do, and I've started. I was, I don't know how many pounds. I never looked on the scale, and I went, you know what? I want to start taking care of myself. So you start to learn how to build things. Like two weeks ago, I was this, now I'm that. If you had started doing anything two weeks ago, by today, you would have been two weeks better at it. And that's really what it's about. Woo! Yeah. I started working out. And I just took my mind off the time. Just, I'm just starting out. I'm just starting out. And before you know it, you think you're just starting out. You're getting somewhere, and you're surprising yourself. And now my resting heart rate is 50. So, uh -huh. yeah. Woo! Thank you. Uh -huh. um, what was it about 